A local Marine is using his dog training skills to help other owners in San Diego. Heather Lake is live in Valley Center with a look at his new facility. This is interesting, Heather. Hey, good morning. Yeah, so interesting. And there's so many demonstrations to show you because it's everything from the average Joe who kind of wants to get their dog into obedience classes to the military personnel or police personnel who want their training and their dogs to be trained even better than maybe they've ever been before. So we're going to see a couple of demonstrations that are going to happen here. And then we're going to go out and even show you rattlesnake aversion, which I'm very curious about. Dustin Wynn, this is your place. So first things first, we're going to talk about scent detection because that's something that you work on here. It is. Yep. So uh, Bill Camacho and his dog Mayo are trained to detect the scent of narcotics. So um, what we have in the box is, uh, is essentially pseudo heroin. Um, and Bill's Mayo is going to show us where that odor is located. Okay. So go ahead, Bill. Demonstrate. And you've been trained not only, you train dogs not only to find narcotics, but you also train them. You've done even like bed bug detection. You were telling uh, me that story earlier. Yeah, I've trained uh, approximately 10 dogs in the, the odor of bed bug uh, detection. Uh, really cool, really weird when you start breaking down because it's live bugs that the dog is detecting that move. Um, so it's really important that you understand and get that dog to really found, foundationally target bed bugs. That's that's what it comes down yeah, to. Yeah, he did it. He did it again. Did I mean, good. we've been watching him as we were kind of warming yeah. up for all of this, and he's obviously very well trained. Um, I can't help but look behind you um, with his dog running on on what seems to be a dog treadmill. So what do you have this for? Yep, this is our dog trotter. We we use this to build drive in the dog. Um, we work on endurance and stamina uh, because the dogs here that are working dogs, we want to make sure that they have the endurance to go the extra mile. Um, whether it's looking for IEDs or um, just doing basic scent detection, it's important the dog has the stamina to keep going. We're seeing a lot of the similar breeds, almost the ones that like the canine units and military working dogs, but you literally work with every kind of dog here. I was mentioning like we had a bulldog in the last segment. Um, you know, Zach has two Frenchies that you could even train here. Um, sure. when we go out here, you have a client that just showed up and that's yeah. kind of um, what she's going to be doing. And so tell me a little bit about kind of the, the average Joe that would come out here to get their dog trained. So uh, what we're seeing with the average Joe right now or, or uh, just our, our kind of civilian um, dog owners, um, a lot of reactivity um, just with everything going on um, with COVID and everything. It just it, it, there's a, a breakdown in that socialization of the dog. So we're out here building confidence through obedience. Um, and what you see right here is Duke the Bernadoodle. Um, and his a owner handler, Bernadoodle. That's yeah, so a Bernese mountain dog and a, and a, yeah, a, a doodle. So, um, really cool dog. Um, got a really good personality. But a big dog. Uh, so, big, you've got to yeah. get these dogs trained, especially oh. if you want to take them to the dog park. You want to take them to the friend's house, yep. right? And, and it's important that it happens early on, right? Yeah. Because a, a, a small puppy is much more easily trained than a large adult dog right. of Duke's size. Right. So, it's so a, then, it if, is if you did wait, you're the kind of guy who's going to do it and you're going to help him out. Yep. Um, we've gone all the way from the canine training and the last even repelling from buildings that you do here and you're you're building confidence um, what's your background why did you get into all of this yeah, so I started as a Marine Corps dog handler um, in, two, in 99 I joined the Marine Corps um, I went through my Marine Corps career handling a dog working a dog um, deploying overseas to um, to the Middle East a couple times um, I came back and I was a, a, a private contractor still going to the Middle East into Iraq um, working a uh, explosive detection dog and then after that, I came back. I was with NSW, with Naval Special Warfare, as a canine instructor for them. Um, and then started this business and with uh, Marine Corps Special Operations with their canine program as yeah. well. I love hearing all of um, your story. Before we go back to the studio, there's a rattlesnake in the there middle is. of your parking lot. There this is. is also something that you teach, and this can help um, the average Joe, anyone, homeowner. This is something that you would find in California, and this helps you so that your dog knows to stay away from something that you would find in your backyard, like a rattlesnake or a wildlife. Exactly. This is, uh, in my opinion, one of the most important things you can do for your dog um, to, see, you know, saving its life. Uh, the, the monetary, the expense to a, a snake butt is, is very extreme. Um, so what you're dealing with is basically teaching the dog to stay away from the rattlesnake, right? They hear the noise, they see the snake, they smell the snake um, to stay away from it. Um, and what we do is we pair the snake with a negative to the dog just to make sure the dog understands to stay away from it. Wow, so he understands that sound. And the sound. That's what it's yep. doing is teaching him the sound. The sound, the smell, and the sight. I want everything combined. That's why the snake's in the wide open. That's why the snake is unmuzzled mm -hmm. um, and in a defensive posture, um, basically just telling, warning the dog to stay away. Wow. By the way, that is a cool dog. What kind of dog is that? That's a Kane Corso. That's uh, from Confidential Kennels. 
Um, Jesse is the owner of Confidential Kennels. That is a cool dog. Um, by the way, shout out to Dave, who's been our rattlesnake handler for the day. They actually find those on the property to do the training. Everything that you guys do here, I'm so impressed by. I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio for now, Shelly, but all the information, if someone's watching and they're like, man, I want to get out there, it's called North County Canine Training, and you can get all the information on FoxLiveSanDiego.com. Click on the scene on tab. Did I show you enough demonstrations? You did. did you see everything that you want to see? Do you have any questions? Yeah, I, I love all of this. I know people do strong struggle with the whole obedience uh, for dogs. You know, you bring them into the the home and it's one thing if they do everything you say, but not all animals do that and you know, I like it. Sit. It's a learning process. Stay. <laughs> Come. Roll. Talking? Right. I'm talking to her, not to you, DJ J Flex. <laughs> Whatever. Heather, thank you. <laughs>